going on guys? So today, I'm going to be going out and shooting some youth soccer. Little kids, not high school. Um, take you guys with me. Give you guys some pointers on shooting soccer. Show you what it's like. Kind of, you know, how I do it. This and that. I'm going to try to have the GoPro on the camera. Get video of the actual game. And show you guys the shots when they're done. Once they're edited. Blah, blah, blah. But it's more or less to give you guys what it's like to be out there and seeing it firsthand instead of just talking about it. Um, I'll probably do another video on specifically how to handle soccer, especially at the high school level and above, because it changes from little kids playing soccer to the high school kids, college guys, women. It's it, there's a different aspect to it. So let's uh let's get going. All right, so we're out here at the uh, soccer game. A little windy, trying not to talk too loud because a lot of people around. And uh, people start looking at you funny when you start talking to your own camera. So you got the kids chilling, getting their warm-ups in. One thing you gotta learn when you get out to soccer is which side of the field could possibly have the less people on it. Especially for youth games like this, the close sideline usually has a lot of people on it. The other sideline doesn't have too many. And the less people, there's less people to get in your way. So hopefully we can keep this going and get a uh, get a nice little day here of some shooting. See how it goes. So a good way to make sure you get pictures of pretty much everybody kind of playing is to get your warm-ups. Make sure you film you film or you get pictures of your warm-ups. It helps, especially if you get into the leagues, that it's not about participation, it's about wins and losses. Then you're going to need to get those extra pictures of people who don't get a lot of play time. Especially if you're being paid by a team to be there. You want to get as many of the players as you can, and warm-ups helps you do that. Warm-ups helps you take care of that. All right, one of the tricks I've found with shooting youth soccer is don't try to anticipate just take shots just unload 4,000 pictures on a youth soccer and you'll find what you need because there is very little organization and gameplay and understanding what's going on so when you get into these youth 10 12 younger games just unload on the on the field just open the shutter and just let it fly and you'll get the pictures you want and everybody will be happy don't try to wait for that bicycle kick or that flip throw in or that perfect cross shot because you're not going to get it out here So, yeah, that's basically it. So just remember, when you're shooting kids soccer, it's all about having fun. It's all about getting what, the, what they want, what the parents want, what would be exciting, you know, what they want to see. It's, it's kids playing soccer. Not a whole lot to it. You're not looking for anything spectacular, just the kids playing the game. So just remember that when you're out there at these youth soccer games, just take pictures. 
that's it. Just take the shots. Not looking for anything fancy, not looking for anything gonna go up on ESPN.com. Just get some nice pictures and throw it out to the families, throw it out to the people. And remember, if you have your kid playing like I do, do a couple of games, do a season for free, throw it out there. Make sure both teams kind of get copies, you know, throw a gallery up. You get more clients that know that you're out there doing that. Yeah, they're going to see you out there, but if they don't know that that's what you do for a living or that's what you, you know, you, you get paid to do it, they're not going to ask you if they can pay you. Put a gallery together, throw it out to the coach, let the coach throw it out to the parents, and link everything back to your business, back to your site. Easy money. Easy money. 50 bucks for one kid, 30 pictures from their youth soccer game, money in the bank, money in the bank. All right, well, hope that kind of helped you out a little bit, if not a whole lot of tips, just little things. So uh, we'll see you guys in the next one, and uh, just keep shooting. Keep shooting.